Hello, sir. How are you? I'm good, Ryan. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. We missed a week, but we're back. And this week we have the one and only Derek Funkhauser. How are you, Derek? Hello, gentlemen. Hi. How are you? Yeah. yeah. So we went through a list of uh, probably about 45 people that we wanted on the show. Um, <laughs> we got to your name and you were available. So this is how it goes. Yeah, that's. Uh, I was gonna say we we uh, tonight we're gonna have a dear friend on, but he was busy, so instead we have Mr. Derek Bonkowski. That's right. That's Thank right. So, I'm yeah. uh I'm surprised I was that high on the list. I actually expected to be you know a few hundred down, but a few hundred down. Hey, yeah, I know. mean you know climbing uh, up top. a little bit, I suppose. It is Climb April first, so oh look, and the and the clowns <laughs> are already coming out of the clown car. <laughs> well, so before you got here, Isaac, uh, Ryan and I were chatting, and this is the 65th episode, and I said, "Wow, I mean, Isaac is uh, actually older than the show is." So that's interesting. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's, Ryan's actually older than me, six years older than I am. Mm. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Welcome to Isaac. Me. I was going to say I'm usually the. Uh, uh, is that how we spell Isaac's last name? Nope, not even close. That's <laughs> great. That's great. Oh, it would have been so much fun with all of us. Who's who's jumping into that? Part? That's Only probably friends. Matt. I uh, bet. Uh, we so so does Ryan know about what we had recommended of doing a Brady Bunch episode of eight people? No, I did not tell. No, him I didn't know about that. <laughs> no, I did not mention that. That would have been uh, something to see. Yeah, that find. would have been very interesting. So very cool. This is this a horrible story. April Fool's joke. This is true. Yeah. Well, April folks joke, which is <laughs> which is different than April Fool's. So. Oh, let's see where this weird comment's oh, coming from is, right now. This is good. This is gonna be a good show, guys. Tonight we're talking about dexterity oh. games. Um, it's AJ. Sorry, it's AJ, AJ. Go, go over to one of the other channels to watch it. <laughs> that's, that's great. Oh so. my goodness. Tonight we're talking about dexterity games, uh, so we're going to be talking all about those games that frustrate you and that your kid knows how to play better than you do. Um, so, uh, quick, quick, uh, quick story about a dexterity game. It was uh, Doctor Eureka. Uh, you guys remember the uh, yep. putting the little marbles Oceans. into? Yeah, yep. yeah. So we bought that game for the kids, and uh, Aaron beat the crap out of us constantly, over and over, to the point where the kids didn't want to play it anymore. So this game that we purchased for the kids when they were young, Aaron just beat them into submission until they just didn't want to play anymore. It was great. So Lizzie has a story like that, but it was Settlers of Catan. So we oh, played okay. so much. Yeah. We played it literally like a dozen times over the course of like a vacation. And she was just like, I'm going to end this game as fast as I can because I'm tired of playing it. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we love hate relationship with that game right now. Yeah. 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 So Yep. Another good topic, Ryan. Games we love to hate. Games we love to hate. Oh, yeah. that would be an interesting one. So I got a few. Get a lot of viewers for that. Yeah. I don't <laughs> I don't actually I don't hate I'll, a lot of games. There's some that I that annoy me, but that's about it. it games we love to, hard. love to loathe. Love to loathe. Hard. Yeah, that'll, that'll yeah, basically that'll, just pick anything off twenty fifth century's line. Here we go. Starting strong. <laughs> hey yo, folks. Our, our oh, opening question tonight is we haven't even gotten there yet. Uh we are coming off of Easter weekend. How was your Easter weekend? We always start with the guests. So, yep. Eric, how was your Easter weekend? It was wonderful. Uh, so I was coming off of a long weekend with Lizzie at the Adam uh, Gamers Ranch event. Uh, I don't even know what it stands for. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, uh, it's like, yeah, I saw it. Tabletop I, of, of opinionated minds or something. But Agor is it Agoria? Tabletop opinionated minds? Something like that. Anyways, the event was amazing. Uh, played over 40 games in the span of like nice. three days. Um, new games, unannounced games, honestly, getting classics back to the table, games that we don't play very much anymore. Yeah, I saw some of, them. I saw some of the games that hit the table, and I was like, that's really good because I, I think sometimes we get stuck into this uh, little box of like, what's the newest thing? What's the newest thing? What's the newest thing? We don't play stuff that's five years old, you know? So. Yeah. Yeah. So we just kind of, Looked at the list, and I mean, we brought games out like Calico. Um, there were games like Project L. Um, you know, just games that we enjoy that we hadn't got a chance to play uh, again since first playing it. So nice, yeah, nice. a lot of fun. So, oh, M Malim was was actually very very good. Malim was awesome. Agora it's actually for tabletop one top opinionated minds. There it is, Agora for tabletop opinionated minds. Uh, yeah. If you've not had a chance, I tried to get on Amazon, but it's sold out. But Malim is. Okay, I remember hearing about that one. Reiner can eat the game. Oh, okay. 
Okay, didn't know that. Um, our Easter was very good. We spent some time with uh, Aaron's side of the family, uh, spent some time with them, and then uh, played some games I actually introduced. Uh, it's in my bag over there, but I introduced uh, the nephews to um, a game called, uh, what is it? it uh, Riders 3000. It's uh, Spark Riders 3000. Spark Do you guys know anything about Spark Riders? I've, I've definitely heard of it. Okay, so I missed this Kickstarter. I think it was 2022, I think. Um, it is a, everybody's on the spaceship and everybody's trying to repair the ship as aliens are attacking. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, integrated yeah. with this app. It's really cool. Mm. Like, I've been very impressed with that game. And so I showed it to the nephews this weekend and had a fun time with it. Um, yeah, and so yeah, I'm looking sound, at it right now. That's pretty cool. Sounds made up. Yep, it is. It is. I'm making that <laughs> Welcome to Will It Game. So, Will It um, Game. Uh, I, hey, I, uh, I shouldn't have said that. I I, said I'm that. on a special hidden episode of Will It Game. Special hidden covered. episodes. I actually thought about it. Um, I actually thought computer. about it. And Nitra is such a good game, you can't remember it. <laughs> Spark Rider, the name Spark Riders is very odd. Um, sure. So, I'm not a big fan of the name. So, but whatever. It's a fun Sorry. game, though. Um, but spent some time with the family and then had, uh, outdoor dinner with our church last night, which was really Saw that fun. Picture. Yeah, it, looked, it was looked really nice. good. It was nice. It was beautiful weather. And it's awesome. much better. So, yeah, we had a family up, um, you know, we don't have a huge family. We have like, uh, 14, I think here mm -hmm. on Easter, um, I'll do the traditional stuff, the ham, the, all the fixings. Uh, and I hid eggs this year is 370 eggs. What um, stuff them all, hide them around adults, kids. All the kids are older now, so they're basically adults searching. It's yeah, fun yeah. to just watch them all have a good time with it and search around for them. So, yeah, we had a good time. That's cool. That's awesome. Oh, I hope Rick White does not appear. Uh oh, he always shows up. <laughs> so, is always when poorly, it's me. Does anybody need a rule book written poorly? <laughs> oh, oh, actually, Ooh. I I gotta say that some of Rick's rule books are actually really good. Yeah, so, they are. Yeah. They're. It, it makes me sad to compliment him. So. I've seen I've seen worse rule books. Anyway, our next question today we are discussing <laughs> all things dexterity. Uh, when you think of dexterity games, what descriptive words come to mind? I promise, Lizzie, I wouldn't say what I was gonna say. Don't do it. You should. Yep. It's a family, it's a family show, but you should. We're family adjacent I show. I told, <laughs> I told Lizzie what. Uh, it's yeah, after she was eight. Like, she's like, do not say that. Do not say that. Yeah, so but you can say it in a way. You can say it in a way that's less <clears throat> weird. Less weird. That um, makes less people report this video. <laughs> uh, using our fingers to push things around a board. Uh, yeah. That's not chaos, ca chaos uh, stacking, hey. flicking, that type of stacking, stuff. Stacking, flicking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Sean, what's up, sir? Typically. Sean, what's up? Hey, what up, Fletch? Yeah. Um, yeah, so it, it, handsy is, was your descriptive word that you're thinking of. <laughs> dexterity, okay. okay. I'm yes. waiting for the flip yeah. dexterity game. No. Man, you just no. stole my one of my answers to the sorry, favorite question. I'm sorry. I'm just, <laughs> just kidding. That would be gross. Spoilers. <laughs> you don't want people putting things between their toes. Oh, no. oh using my things. gosh. Oh, Palm God. trees, but with feet. <laughs> oh. oh. No. Palm trees with feet. Please stop. <laughs> Next convention. Next convention. Palm trees with feet. We're going to play it. <laughs> yeah. It's terrible. So you my one lay, word. You have to lay on the floor on your back so your feet are in the air. <laughs> no. On no, table. AJ. AJ, that is always a bad idea. Always, um, never, <laughs> ever a good idea for somebody to put feet on the table while you're playing board games. It's disgusting. Um, my word, my word for uh, dexterity game would be accuracy. I'm mm. terrible at accuracy, and that's why I'm bad at dexterity games. Commonly, how is your accuracy so. for things like? Darts and bowling and action. I'm actually no, actually, I'm pretty good with those. I think it's Using just the bathroom? practice. <laughs> like it's just the practice. Like I'm actually better than most of my family in Crokinole, but I'm terrible at like flick them up. You know, well, so, yeah, that's okay. put up Fletch's comment. That's nuts. <laughs> that actually, I don't know if I should if I'm surprised uh, or not. <laughs> I don't. Who's out there going? Hmm, you know what game those? we need. 
games with feet. Several have mouth. of those pitches. I mean, but think about like think about the mouth. One. Like, what's the gross uh, mouth? Speak one? out the speak yeah. out. One. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody said this is a great idea, even though everybody before them probably said that's disgusting. Oh. Yeah, but you know, um, somebody picked it up. So feet. Out I want the next Will It game to be about making a dexterity game for your feet. Something about o fungus. Oh. Uh, mush- mushroom games are the hot hottest. You know? <laughs> That's true. That's true. Um, so my games. my descriptive word would be tactile because I think mm. unlike a lot of the other games, mm. there is just such a like we've got our hands on this game and we're all trying to figure out like like Derek said, it's there, there's such a uh, almost like a sport aspect to a dexterity game. It right? is. It yeah. just changes mm-hmm. it up a little bit. That's good. To- oh, to- Toe Jam and Earl, the board yeah. game. Oh, oh see, now Toe Jam, Jam and Earl. Earl. I mean, but you, oh, awesome you play with your game. feet. I love it. Yeah. Tactile's a great like summation, though, for sure. It's a good word. Yeah, yeah. Surprised uh, Isaac came up with that. Hey, hey. Next question. Uh, what Isaac classic? <laughs> Isaac's like, how yeah. can we get this video done as fast <laughs> as possible? <laughs> like... Now that we've, now that twelve minutes in, we're talking about feet. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Did you You're get welcome. a chance to play this game at uh, Adam on my left shoulder? So okay. funny enough, uh, they don't have a copy. I know but that's crazy. Eagle that Griffin they didn't is sending them a copy, copy because oh. like the, one of the first things we did first day was Sarah and I went to see if it was there. We're I'm like, how can we ruin friendships as fast? That's as possible? terrible. That is a one-time game. It should be a one-time. Put it back in the box. It's it's when you start playing it multiple times. Yeah, that's where, it's like Munchkin, yeah. right? Munchkin Experience. for for what Munchkin is, right? Love it or loathe it. It's a one-time game because once you start playing it multiple times in a row, it's like I remember last time you. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, like, it's yeah. a one time. One time a year would be fine. Yeah, like, yeah. Every other year, very years with the people, with the people you play with. <laughs> like I even told Sarah at, at Adam. I was like, there's a very specific group of people that I would play this with, and there are people that I would never play this with. Yeah, uh, I'd love to play with Ryan, uh, Ryan and Bob. I, yeah. I don't, I don't get that into. I don't get that. That's what I mean. I don't think you'd be super. No, no. So I told Sarah, I was like, you have to have people who are emotionally intelligent enough to read the room and understand that, like, yeah. if someone is not having a good time, then maybe we should like back off a little bit yeah, or yeah. just put the game away. But like, there's kind of this social contract part of it of like, we're we're around a table, we're hanging out. Like, it's okay to be a troll and to like absolutely yeah. cut people out of deals and stuff. But there's that level you can take it that can really. Oh yeah, and, and you guys know. Oh, we've seen that. Like <laughs> it said, I mean, games like Munchkin. I've seen it with uh, and Munchkin too. Oh, I've man. seen it with uh, what's the the uh, it's the hidden roll one. I hate it so much. Um, there's a hidden roll Munchkin. No, 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 not. Uh, oh, like werewolf or resistance? Like, yeah, or resistance, resistance. Oh, like, yeah. I've seen so many people get in so many fights playing resistance. Yeah. Like, so well, because so it has that same yeah. any rule or any game that can allow a group of people to cut people out of playing a game right. can automatically lead to some really frustrating things. Like resistance, you could yeah. never take somebody on a mission. Yeah. Uh, you know, and you just you just completely move them out of the game. Cashing yeah. guns is that way in our house. We've had we've had oh, you hundred percent can file on. Like that yeah. has been a really rough one. There was one time when somebody got shot the first three times in the game. They were unwilling to put themselves on the ground, and they got out of the game in three turns. And they were just like, wow. "This is stupid. You guys are dumb." I'm leaving. <laughs> I was like, "Oh." I have the twenty player of that game from nope. Germany that I've never played. It's on my never. shelf over here. It plays up to twenty. It's a Pegasus Spiel. Oof version of it yeah Pi- but bob's right it's the pile on effect yeah yeah play yeah, testing yeah. munchkin we had certain people in the office of voluntary time to keep an eye on them when we played yeah <laughs> yeah that's fair that's fair. i had i had a friend come by and he saw a munchkin uh uh scooby-doo that yeah. we had for review mm-hmm. and i reviewed munchkin scooby-doo a couple months ago and uh he said what's munchkin i was like oh well, i have a <laughs> Don't game for you, my friend <laughs> let me show you <laughs> here you give him the Yes. Um, all right, so our next question. Uh, what classic dexterity game uh, did you enjoy as a kid? So kind of that pre-hobby kid um, dexterity game. So when I was thinking about this, I was like, okay, so what are... Because like typically when I think of dexterity games, I think of kind of like modern day dexterity games. Mm-hmm. But like as I thought, as I started to think back about like vintage dexterity games or whatever, I was like, okay. So like Jenga has been around forever, right? Oh, yeah. Um, and like Jenga and Operation those are two games yep. that I grew up playing. 
So operations I feel a like really those good are, call. I didn't think about that one. I didn't yeah. think about operation either. Yeah. Like those two kind of like quintessential. I feel like everybody had those. And then like if you want to go crazy vintage, you can get to things like Jacks, you know, mm-hmm. like the Marvel mm-hmm. and picking up Jack. Oh, uh, uh, tip the waiter. Slammers. Uh the Dog oh, Daddy. Like Tiddly Weeks and stuff. Yeah, and Tiddly slammers. Weeks. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hogs. Oh, Pogs. 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 There you Pog, go. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true too. That was definitely a 90s thing. It was don't, don't wake daddy. daddy. Yeah. Don't, don't wake daddy. daddy. Yeah. <laughs> don't break the ice. Oh, the, oh, those, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's the ant one? Ants in the pants. Oh, right? ants in your. Oh, yeah. Where you have the oh, perfection. I forgot about yeah. perfection. Perfection. Man, perfection oh, man. is like, oh, that's an awful game. <laughs> I do not like that game. <laughs> Marvels. Yep. We always had the Toys R Us like generic version of perfection, so the pieces didn't go really well anyway. <laughs> so, they're a little loose. You know, <laughs> shape is yeah. that? That's an amoeba. So wow, that was a lot of really good old uh, dexterity. Yeah. Uh, so Ryan my, got one. Mine know? would have to be Kerplunk. Uh, my dad brought oh, me a copy of yeah. Kerplunk when I was a kid, and then when I found out about Tower of Madness years ago, it's basically a Cthulhu themed Kerplunk. Like, yep. I I didn't even. I was like, I had Kerplunk and that thing. I mean sticks got broken i mean we <laughs> lost marbles it was down to like five marbles and two sticks it's like we can still play um but tower of madness like we bust this out around halloween every year and i'm like oh man it gives me that kerplunk feeling you know so, did smirk yeah. and dagger do that yes yeah, smirk and dagger did yep yeah so. mine uh and i get excited about dexterity because um we we had a uh kind of friends retreat a couple weeks ago where 17 of us were up at this huge cabin and nice. uh we made a dexterity decathlon similar to what we talked about on the last show and That's came awesome. up with tons of dexterity stuff some stuff i knew i had some other stuff i found and uh one of the ones i didn't take but it's a to me it's a classic one and we talked a little bit about it on the show was uh bandu and bandu i have is, not is played great. this yet but i keep hearing about it if you can find it it's hard to find. It's been out of print for a while. It was a Mattel game. It's all wood pieces. Uh, and it's basically, you just have this small little stacking red block at the bottom there. Oh, and you cool. pass pieces. So there's a giant pile of weird pieces and you pass one to the left and they have to use it. Or if they don't, nice. they pay a bean, like a literal bean, and they pass it to the next person that keeps going around. And uh, you just essentially play until you know there's one person still standing so yeah. it's a fun little Loop and louis definitely yeah, yeah uh, oh yeah 100 like on top of that i was just thinking about this but i mean if you think about it i think pinball machines kind of count right yeah i mean 100 sure. like timing yeah. and i, I mean it's just de- stuff, it's dexterity like, it's if you're bad at flipping and hitting the ball then you're not gonna yeah. get at it uh bob yeah bob uh, nature's got suspend. it suspend yeah suspend just played that really good like it was one of those games that i didn't even know about and about six seven years ago my aunt got it for the kids it's really fun like suspend is really fun so um and then yeah loop and Luli. uh my friend bought the uh 3d uh printed uh hub for loop and louie he has a uh, eight player loop and louie board so basically awesome. he's got a piece of plywood a square of plywood and there's uh you can buy this little 3d printed hub that converts it to an eight player game it's ridiculous that's amazing have you seen the guys that do the uh customizations for those i'm pretty sure dice tower or maybe it's steven bonacore have one that's been like faster they made it oh yeah yeah uh (laughs) jet uh jet uh jet yeah it's crazy they they modified it so that it moves around way faster so that's really awesome tom basil loves lupin Loop and Louie's great. My uh, my copy of Loop and Louie that I got for five dollars at Target. I bought like multiple copies, and uh, it has stopped working. I got to figure out yeah. something with a piece. We of had the it. Star Wars one, and the kids want the Bluey Loop one, and, Chewy, and yeah. Loop and Chewy. Yeah. Yep. So, oh yeah. They get played pretty hard, so yeah, you they, put through yeah, them pretty quick with kids. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> um, so our next question is: What is a theme in dexterity? that you think we could use something you haven't seen in dexterity something, yeah feet <laughs> all right no i'm kidding i'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> that, was uh, my answer. That. Yeah, that was my answer yeah. um so this was hard because there's been a lot of dexterity games that yeah. have been created mm-hmm. and a lot of the time they're kind of abstracted um so 
I I think like I have a prototype of a of a dexterity game I was messing around with that I've not. And if there's a game out there, I'd love to see it. Link it to me, or if someone else re- listens to this and they're like, "Hey, I love, I would love to like make a game out there. Please make my life easier, so I don't have to design it." But I would love a cross between um, the fish game, uh, the penguin game, uh, ice cool, oh, cool. ice cool yeah. game, uh, and a high fantasy. So basically, you drop and, and shoot dice around a board, trying to knock over enemies, and you're. Mm-hmm. Playing as like a D and D characters, bard and mage and hmm. wizard, all barbarian, all that stuff. So I'd love to see like a high fantasy. I think Catacombs is the only high fantasy dexterity game that I know of. Okay, so. uh, closest that in different theme, right? Is Seal Team Flicks where you're yep. rolling around, but that one oh, had yeah, it yeah. had too much prep, right? To, you could just jump in and just. Enjoy the game. I remember so, seeing that never getting to play it, but that that there's a lot to it. Up. Yeah, the theme was the theme was great. Went away yeah, the theme was great. Right? Okay. The theme made sense. There's just a lot of a lot of rules that kind of bogged it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, with with dexterity games, when I think of it, I think like family like weight type of like very easy to learn mm-hmm. play. So like mm-hmm. Seal Team Flicks was just way too much for that target. Yeah, 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 for sure. And Yo, hey, what's up, Jimmy? Jimmy? Jimmy, what's up? Yo, yo. Jimmy Dog. Um, so I think, uh, so we're talking about themes in uh, possible themes that Dungeon Roll had a fantasy theme. Okay. Okay. Dungeon, Dungeon Roll. Roll. I'll have to take a look at that. Okay. I remember that name. Um, I'll just re-implement it and make it better. So we, uh, Thanks. the one theme that I, the one theme that I don't know that there's a dexterity game of is farming. You know, I was trying to think. I was like space, IP games, yeah. um, uh, food games. There's all, all of those are covered. But I've never seen a farming dexterity game. So yeah, I was thinking about that too. I couldn't think of. Oh yeah, Rampage. Yeah, Rampage is so awesome. Cool. I have the I first never, edition of that before they got yep, in trouble. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I never owned it. I just, I couldn't. It was something about the breathing at people or like blowing at. Oh like, yeah, eh, I'm good. Eh, uh, and Rampage is probably some, the closest, but uh, <laughs> but I I mean I love superhero stuff, and I was trying to think of something that was really like big IP superhero themed. Mm-hmm. That's dexterity, a Marvel DC something, and yeah. I couldn't think of anything that was like heavy, even yeah. even without the IP, just something that's superhero, yeah, uh, battling combat kind of stuff. So that would be cool. I like that idea. That's super um, Kapow, Kapow, You know, we can throw Kapow dice at each other. You could, yeah. Bob yeah. said, uh, "Greatest modern dexterity games: tumbling dice and pitch car." Period. Period. I mean, Bob, you're getting a little ahead of the horse here. Period. So, I know. That's little, the next question, ahead, man. Right? Come on. Oh yeah, yeah. Next question: What is your all-time favorite dexterity game? All-time. Period. Yeah. Period. Oh, so, period. <laughs> period. Um. So mine is actually pitch car. Uh, um, pitch car mini pitch car. It's my favorite. So if you've been at Gamers Ranch, you'll know he has like. The oh my gosh! Greatest pitch car collection I've ever seen. So much there. I mean, he's got everything: the ramps, the turn. It's like it's overwhelming amazing. the amount of stuff he has. It right. is, it is. But if you <laughs> like, if you know how to play pitch car and like you know what to add in, it's it's amazing. Like in pitch car mini to this day is still my favorite like small box dexterity game because there's I've so never much in that. Car. Wow! Yeah. Wow! I didn't Bob, play it you until I was at Gamers it. Ranch, and, really? and he set up a crazy track for us it was really? awesome david okay. did yeah it was awesome it is awesome yep. he uh he's got a uh ping pong table that yep it really well That's really uh because you can get some massive cool. uh stuff but anyways yeah pitch car is my favorite yep that's cool ryan um so <laughs> i would say crokinole uh crokinole is number one for me but um i think if you're talking about it in a board game format uh ice cool um, anybody can play high school. We've got both one and two and making a giant, making the giant school for high school is yep. just a lot of fun. So, yeah, um, Ethan spent hours constructing like the perfect one when we were gone on our trip and like taught everybody how to play it. There was eight of us playing it. Yeah. It was, it was awesome. So good. Uh, yeah. And Jason, so Jason's crokinole, he has a really nice board. He has a table that he brought specifically for the crokinole board. It like fits really? it. It's a round. Wow. Like portable table is perfect because then you don't have all the extra table. It's just mm-hmm. crokinole in the middle. That's mm-hmm. nice. That's nice. They, I think Becky found it on. I want to say Amazon. They'll probably comment in, but 
uh, yeah, I was thinking about you with that rhyme because I thought, oh, that's like a perfect. Uh, it was one of those weird things one. that I looked back last year and I realized that I played more Crokinole than anything else. Like, and I, I didn't love it's easy, it right? It's easy, quick. Yeah, it's it, and you play three or four games, you know. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, AJ, I don't know this one. So this is a game that David was going to bring to Gamers Ranch and forgot. Um, okay. But Nekajima is amazing. Uh, saw it at Gamma. I haven't had a chance to actually play it, but the table presence alone is really cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're suspending, like, uh, I think it's monkeys or cats, and you're suspending things on a team and trying to hang things on. Uh, nice. Kind of so it looks like bamboo trees, like what you'd have in um, Cats on Power like Lines. Panda. It's cats on power lines, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I saw that, so, yeah. 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 Okay. That's awesome. So Amazon... Uh, you know what's a... Yeah, definitely Amazon that one. It's on my current wish list. Um, a game so, that I've always wanted to play, that, that's Dexterity, that I think has been around for a long time. And it's funny, because I, I get I see a lot of Dexterity... I'm on Dexterity Talk. I don't know if you're on TikTok. There's like a lot of like Dexterity games on TikTok. Yeah, I get a lot uh, of it. Karim, I think is like Eastern Indian, like yep. Eastern Middle Middle Eastern. Um, I've and I've always that. wanted to play Karim because like I watch these guys play and it's crazy how they're so accurate with getting the piece inside the square. Mm. So if you've not seen people play it, it's super cool. That's yeah. cool. I mean, my, my favorite uh, dexterity of all time is I think pretty well known as Hamster Roll. Uh, yes, I mean, I, I love this game. Like <laughs> I, I absolutely loved it. I still get to introduce people to it. Yep. I brought it over the weekend. There were some people that still hadn't played it. It's just, it's so good. It's so fun. Cool. It's so, it's so stand up and look at me on the table kind of game. And uh, awesome. can't wait for so many more people to have a chance to play it. Thanks to yeah. uh, 25th century games. Chad unofficial, finally does something well. Unofficial, not sponsor of the game. Yeah, 25th century. Thank you. We uh, we actually backed that one, so I'll have my own hamster roll shortly. It's an awesome. amazing game. It's, <laughs> that's one that we taught at Gamers Ranch because uh, David has a copy. David Rehagen. Uh, he has a copy in the collection. And uh, uh, so like Melissa had never played from Tan or she maybe she had played Sarah. One of them hadn't played from Tantrum okay. uh, House. I think Sarah we taught David Waybright. He had nice. never played. And everybody, like you're exactly right. We managed to get the table. we we got a wedged piece that went all the way around, and it got like that's awesome, like wow. two thirds of the way around, and then it unwedged. But it was above, and you're like, wow, that that doesn't happen cool. too often. Uh, Jimmy said, "Kirkenall feels like it should be in a different category, like air, like air hockey, pool, ping pong." Yeah, that's uh, that that's exactly right because I feel like, and that's why I had to say ice cool afterwards because Kirkenall is its own thing. You know, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, it so, is for sure. Yeah. Um, a friend, uh, my sister-in-law actually just got introduced to uh, what's the one with the with the rubber band or the string, the uh, like tension string. Oh, you and you try to shoot it through the middle. You shoot it through the middle, and you're um, trying to get all three. Pucks oh on. man, yeah, I know what game you're talking about because I've played it, but I don't um, own it. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but yeah. So my sister-in-law just found out about that game, and she bought it. Uh, she bought it online and came in, and she's beaten the whole family with it. So mm -hmm. she was telling me about it this weekend. So Chad, you don't have Clask? Uh, Clask I, is classic. I still I regret not buying I'm Clask. I'm not good at Clask. I picked up Clask recently because Seb mm -hmm. is now in that age where like, yeah. he can play dexterity games, yep. and it's great for him because yeah. he's developing his coordination. Chad, thanks. Uh, dude. For, yeah. Oh, it's there coming it up. We're going we're gonna to talk about it. <laughs> it's on my list. <laughs> Isaac and I are going to talk about that. Yeah. It's, on this, this, it's this, on my list. It's on my list. We'll okay, get to it. Don't put his comment up. I have a really funny story about that, too. <laughs> we'll get to it. I'll, is it on your five, Derek? I'll let Yeah, I'll, oh, 100%. Okay, you do it, and then we'll talk about it. We'll talk I don't about know it. this one. You guys have oh. to. Okay. Yeah, we'll talk about I have, it. I have a story. I mean, Man, dexterity is a hot topic, obviously. So dexterity... When you guys talked about this and Isaac brought it up in the chat, I was like, mm -hmm. oh, that's that's great. So when I was thinking about board games, like, honestly, I would put dexterity in top five mechanic mechanics for me. Okay. Like worker placement, area control, deck building, uh, like dexterity, 100 percent is in top five of my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. The more I get, and especially after spending the weekend playing a ton of dexterity stuff uh, and my Thursday night group, that's a pretty heavy game group. We've kind of been. I've been introducing him to dexterity stuff. And the more we play it, the more I'm like, yeah, we played super hot rhino hero the other yeah. day. And he's like, that's my daughter's game. I'm like, dude, get that game <laughs> so out. What? Yeah. Let me show you how fun this game is. And they have yeah. more We've so, absolutely uh, put loop and Louie on the table and told the kids, get away, get away. This is an adult <laughs> game. Yeah, we've absolutely done that. 
So on the flip uh, side of enjoy the most, what dexterity game do you find the most frustrating? Not that you don't like it, but if you find it frustrating. Um, any type of speed game. So oh, Dutch Blitz, okay. Jungle Speed. Um, I actually really dislike playing speed mm, games. Mm, um, yeah. And it's not so much that I'm not fast, but LCR. like... LCR. Yeah, is LCR a speed game? I, I mean, it's kind of is in a way. Yeah, you roll as fast as you can. Pass yeah, and in. so, um, I mean, yeah, anything with speed. Um, spot it, like games like that. Like, yeah, I yeah, will yeah. still have fun with some of them, but... It's not your game. Nah, it's not my type of dexterity. Yeah. What's the Astro Trash? from the oh op. i didn't like that one that one's it's lcr yeah. i mean it's essentially just lcr i know so but, yeah and astro true. trash was re so that Mickey actually got re-themed as a mickey Bob, mouse bob's burgers yeah and mickey mouse and, and almost, mickey mouse they yeah. almost got me they almost got me they i love bob's we're burgers re-watching license. bob's burgers right now actually That's so good i love that show yes. it's, so, it's amazing so well and, um Bob so I would say uh, you don't like Bob's Burgers. No, no, I said Bob with a hot take. Oh, no, no, no. I said I'd, I. No, I said I like Astro. Oh, I uh, see. Anything real time is Ooh, dumb. Bob I, off the mm, top row. But Bob also has not played uh, the one of the better ones, which is Sorcerer City. Sorcerer City is a solid. It did not have game. that at the gamers' range. Lizzie wanted to play it. So I uh, super I good. really like uh, Skyrockets. Skyrockets is uh, yeah. I played at Skyrockets. Yeah, okay, Astro. Yeah, I love Fletch. I love Astro Trash. Like it's. Uh, was it all... wasn't for me, but I, I it looked cool. It, I it had a great table. But yeah, once. if you don't like speed, it's not. Yeah, it's just... not gonna be a game you enjoy. I played it once. It was fine. I might have bought it as the Bob's Burgers property, but yeah. <laughs> Ryan, what uh, frustrates you in board? Game? Um, games that require tiny fingers. I got these oh. big old meat hooks, and Ugh, uh, gross. I don't like the the games where you have to like navigate through something so i actually sold my copy of uh of um uh tokyo what is it uh, oh tokyo highway tokyo highway i actually sold my copy of tokyo highway because i got frustrated enough with it that i was like this game is not for my size person agreed you know, i wanted to love it but i i loved it at first much of a bull in a china shop exactly <laughs> I don't know that one Anitra so, mentioned. Panic yeah. Island. I'm not familiar with that one. Panic Island's <laughs> really good. Speed I haven't memory. heard of Panic Island. That's oh, Panic Speed Island memory. is good. So um, you guys got me looking up I've new games. Got it somewhere. But it's you're not gonna like it. Speed. Zipper. She said she. Uh, she's using. It's actually. It I mean, so wall. here's the thing. Like, I dislike speed really games, good. but I'll still play them. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. So you don't dislike yeah. it. It's just what you find frustrating. I find it frustrating, right? Yeah. yeah so I get it. if there's a, I would love to find a speed dexterity game that is for me. I don't, and I don't I'll have to make one. I don't, know. I don't have it as much as a as a specific like you said, like tiny and versus speed. Like the one I have found the most frustrating of any dexterity I've ever played is men at work. Men at work is hard. Whoa, like yeah. it's not it's not like oh I don't understand it. It's just hard. That game is is like challenging to the nines. And Simon in our Brady Bunch chat, whenever we did it, he said that's his favorite dexterity game because it is such a challenge to get through. And, and be mm. able to stabilize and get things hanging on. Have you played that one, Ryan? Men at Work? Uh, no, I've watched other people play it, and I feel like it would be one of those Tokyo Highway type situations. No, no, the pieces are big in that yeah, game. Yeah, they are. Okay. They're, they're, they're big, big pieces. Even the little Meeple guys. So maybe are I wouldn't have had, had an issue with that. Okay. Yeah, I don't think the hand size would get you in that. I think it's, it's more the it's like, difficult. how do I balance this thing? It seems impossible. Yeah. Um, so Jimmy, uh, Anitra's yes. right. Uh, yep. Uh, Anitra just said skyrockets is kites, but with a little bit of forgiveness. Um, I never played kites, but skyrockets is phenomenal. Like I, we got skyrockets to review, and I was blown away by how good it was and how the challenges ramped up. And they, like, we would just take out three challenge cards and just sit there and play them. Mm -hmm. um, it is, I think. I think games that add those challenge cards or like goals like that really increase the replayability in a way that makes it meaningful. So Skyrocket is legit the best real-time game that I have yeah. in my collection. Yeah, so. that's fair. Hey, uh, we're at that point where we talk about our guests. So, hey, Derek, what do you do hey. in board game world? Yeah. Uh, so day to day, um, I work as director of game uh, development, production, a lot of different things, a lot of different hats for Wise Wizard Games. 
Uh, so it's pretty awesome. I do a lot of honestly more day to day operations stuff. Um, so that's been super busy right now. We have a live game found for the expansion for robot quest arena, which has been really fun. Uh, I am glad that it's almost to the end. It's 23 <laughs> days of running a campaign is a long, long time, but it's, it's going really well. So if you're interested, you like robot quest arena, uh, the expansion's a ton of fun. I'm excited for the four new characters or, you know, the four new robots we have coming out. Uh, and of course, if you don't get it on the, on Kickstarter, we'll have them available at conventions in the mm -hmm. future and retail and all that good stuff. So, um, just posted the link to the game found campaign. Uh, yeah, it was so a ton of fun can... to work on this. Yeah. So, uh, worked with CJ, who's another designer in the company. He and I co-designed all the new stuff, um, and uh, it, was, it was just a ton of fun to play. Uh, it's a lot of fun to work on. So, and so. I, this is another game that I had a chance to. I've been introducing to some people recently. And oh hey, game of sidekicks. Oh hey, oh, look, there he is. Hey, look at those guys. Uh, and it is amazing to me when because I describe it and they're like, I don't like battling combat games. I'm like, oh, no, just wait, it's a deck builder at its heart. It's a really good deck builder mm -hmm. with play out the combat, and people love this game. Mm -hmm. and, and I think the the comment I get the most is that it doesn't overstay its welcome. Uh, like it plays in a very smooth amount of time. They're like, that was really fun, and I didn't feel like I was waiting forever for this game to end. Yeah. Yeah, it does play fast. I mean, you're looking 45, 60 minutes at uh, two to four players. So nice. um, get in, do a bunch of damage, build up your deck. and It's a lot yeah. in the box. Yeah, and there's a lot in the box. That's true. That's and this um, new new arena is how big compared to the It is a nine by nine grid square for the new arena. So uh, it'll take it from a seven by seven and when a nine by nine give you a lot more space, but you can also play uh, with a lot more players. So if you want to play seven or eight players, like getting that new arena um, would be... Would be Awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. What a, so, so where, um, where might me find? Where might we find you guys uh, in the board game convention? Whoa! What did? Whoa! What is that? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, that's wait, interesting. Happens? Look oh, at that. That's interesting. Hey, that's kind of cool. <gasps> um. So at Wise Wizard Games, all over social media or WWG, um, is where you find them. And then on social media, Lizzie and I. Uh, do board game spotlight. So if you're in the Facebook group or you follow us on TikTok or Instagram or Twitter, or whatever, uh, at BG Spotlight is our handle there. Mm -hmm. nice. nice. Uh where where might we find you guys in the convention center? Where uh convention season is we're ramping. I feel like we're ramping into it here, right? We are. Uh, we are. So, so we are just at Gamma. Um and coming up we have uh, ACD game days, which is mainly for retailers, but there'll be a bunch of industry industry folks there. So I'll be there. I'll be at Geekway to the West. Um, I won't be able to or be at Origins this year. I'm super bummed because it's like the first Origins I've missed barring no, COVID. Super sad. Um, yeah, bummed about that. But then I'll be at Gen Con, PAX Unplugged, um, Essen, finally, for the first time. I feel like That's I've been saying awesome. that forever, but I'm finally going to Essen. Um, and then that's it. So yeah. I'm not going to make BGG Con this year. One of the things I want to do is overlap Tantrum House or Tantrum Con and BGG and go to one and then the next. So Mm -hmm. BGG, I'm probably going to try to go to next year, um, but it also just falls at a really rough time, you know. Yeah, have, with Pax, what uh, Pax Unplugged is right on top of it. I mean, Pax Unplugged is there. You have yeah. SM travel, you have Thanksgiving yeah. and Christmas, and those last four months of the year yeah. are brutal. Yeah. Well, yeah, we, Pax, we, Pax Unplugged for me, if it was if it was early in the fall, I would definitely be able to go. But with it right there between, we traveled uh, two years ago. We traveled quite a bit during that first week of uh, December, and I felt like the entire month of December was a wash. You know, I felt like I didn't get enough family time and stuff like that. So it's like I don't Dude, know. It's, Pax unplugged. It's even later this year. Uh, really? it's, I was just checking all the dates um, it's, for Pax. Yeah, what, for unplugged, it's six through the eighth. So it's been like the like first couple of days, but because we're Thanksgiving yeah. calls in the next weekend, it's the that's six, right six seven eight. So, oh, man. which I actually don't mind it being a little bit further. Yeah, and I 100% agree with Bob. Even though the yeah. timing is the timing, uh, PAX Unplugged is my favorite convention. Yeah, yeah. By far. yeah I totally I agree. have no doubt that I would love it. Um, in June, I you'll have be, the time to do it. Yeah, I, you'll be I empty housed know. at some point where you'll have a little more time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so that's where we're rolling into, so. Yep. Well, awesome. Well, we like to uh, come to this part where we do the Game Chat Presents Pick five. Gra throw the graphic up, Ryan. Throw the graphic. Where's the, the graphic? graphic? Oh. Someone made... Where's it at? No, never mind. Uh, anyway, pick five. 
Visualize a really awesome graphic yeah. somewhere. In close, your close your eyes. Pick, Don't exit the program that you're watching our show on. <laughs> so we're doing pick five. Pick five, uh, pick five dexterity games. They're not the best. They're not the greatest. They're not your top five. They're just five games that you want people to know about in the world of dexterity. So we'll go one yep. at a time. Derek, if you want to start us off, what's on? Uh, yeah. I do. So I actually, if I can, I don't know if I can. I'm going to try to share my screen. I think I can take over and share. If you, sure. yeah, there's a share button in the bottom. Yeah. Can yeah, you see this? Ryan uh, will, yep. Ryan will up there. it. Yep. There we go. Oh, oh, cool. So <laughs> this is Beano. Uh, it's called a Beano okay. board. Um, this is probably quickly, quickly overtaking my top three ever for dexterity games. Yep. I have played this nonstop for the last weekend because it was at Adam, and I've been playing with Seb, and he loves it. Oh really? my gosh, he loves this game. So it is basically flick soccer. Um, mm -hmm. you've got these super uh fun little rubber bands around the outside, or not rubber bands, but elastic bands. You've got these little metal pieces that uh, simulate players. Can I zoom in? I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, just zoom your screen in. And it'll, oh, there you uh, go. Whoops. Oh, so there you can go. see here, you've got these little metal pieces here. Um, oh, wow. You can get them by. Uh, oh, yeah. Wow. Any, I didn't realize you get an arsenal one. That's you can get any game. any field on them. Mm. Custom That's on. super cool. So I didn't realize that. Had I, I probably would have bought one with an arsenal field. But anyways. You take turns flicking the ball back and forth, trying to make trick shots, getting around the opposing players to score points versus seven wins. Um, if you knock the ball out of the field, there's a red card. There's yellow cards for certain things. If you get a red card, your opponent can take one of the pieces off the field, so it's easier for them to make shots. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you okay. actually unscrew it. Um, and, I mean, so funny story is I was following these guys before they launched on TikTok like mm -hmm. a few years ago. Like yeah. I think this was pre-COVID. And um, never really thought anything about it, but then they blew up. And I got to play this at PAX East a couple weekends ago. Yeah. Here, I'll stop sharing now. Um, I got to play it at PAX East, and I was like, oh, this is super That's good. cool. And then Isaac yeah. had messaged me saying he was playing that same weekend nice. at his retreat, and his friend Gene was kicking his butt. Yeah, nice. Gene's great. Gene ba Gene followed him from the get go back yeah. on Kickstarter. I should. Oh, I didn't realize they were on Kickstarter. Yeah, he he has uh, one of the Kickstarter ones, and they have two different kinds, right? So they have that like the the there's the surfaces are different, and we only played with the one surface. But they said the grass one makes them the ball go crazy. And I was watching. I mean, same yeah. thing on TikTok. People put sand in them and play them in a sand surface. Yeah, like it's it's fun. It's you know what's crazy about that is yeah. that uh, Lego actually. They had an old game like this. Yes, yes. I, have I still it. have it. You Me have too. it too. Yeah, yeah I would, still have you it. You would pull the dudes back, and they would. Yep. Flip, they'd, yep. Yeah, yep. you would push back on them, and the mm -hmm. Lego guy. And a basketball one too. Yep. Yep. That's crazy because it reminds me. It's built just like that. You know, as yeah, far as it's, like it's a ton of size fun. and ratio, and it really just surprised me. It was one of those games I needed to play. Now it's pretty pricey, which is why I wanted to play it before I bought yeah. one. Yeah, but yeah. Having played it, I was like. 100 percent this is for pricey are we talking about a crocodile board pricey mm -hmm. or are we yeah, talking yeah, about less less a little less but it was around 85. 100 i think yeah okay around 100 for, okay. Yeah. okay okay um anyways it was awesome so isaac's okay. played it it's so quickly being one of my most played games like basically it's gonna stay on the table forever that's yeah, cool. i'm hoping they're uh, at it this year we'll see yeah i, awesome. mess I messaged him and asked so well if they'll be there i'll definitely play it because I would love to check it out. So, sure. um, so lots is kind of like reverse Jenga. This one is, uh, it, I really like the way that this one is, um, even though I've got bigger, chunkier fingers. This is one <laughs> of those small box games that I really actually enjoy a lot. Um, you're, build, you're cooperatively building this tower, but there are points uh, that you're gaining based on where you put your piece and what it's connected to. And if you finish a level, things like that. Um, lots is a lot of fun, and it's fun to play with kids and adults. That's probably its best. Uh, probably the best thing about it is that you can play with kids and adults, and it's just a a, a fantastic uh time you know yeah. building this tower together so mm -hmm. uh, i'm gonna go with my biggest uh surprise from pax this last year that's a little, oh, little nice little game with a, little, a lot of game in a little box raptor five probably one of my most played in the last six months of nice. this out, getting people excited uh, my buddy who's in the ukraine really wanted to steal this uh, copy when he was visiting but he finally got somebody to bring him a copy <laughs> and he keeps sending me videos and regardless of the language barrier watching people stress over this mm -hmm. is amazing 
amazing. Um, he had a video where he so tried to shush, he shushed somebody and his shush knocked it over. <laughs> it so the next video he sends me, he is 10 feet away from the game in between his turns, standing on the kitchen counter yeah. because he wanted to be as far away from the game. It's like, it's just, it's such yeah. a fun ton of dexterity in a small box. That's really good. hundred percent. That's also in my, one of my most favorite dexterities recently. Nice. We played that at uh, uh, Gamers Range. Awesome. Uh, number yeah. two. Uh, number two for me is going to be Tumbling Dice. It is downstairs. I have all these games that I was going to bring off to my office, but Tumbling That's Dice, I'm sure you probably have There it is, Isaac. Tumbling Dice from Eagle Griffin Games is one of my favorite of all time. It is so much fun. It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. Plinko and it's Plinko, Plinko, it's Plinko, 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 dropping dice and trying to score, but like the pips score you points depending on where they land, yeah. and it's just awesome to get the tape, like get people around the table. Um, at Origins, I think back in 2018, we went to a big event, and they just basically did round robin tumbling dice where you would just walk around the table, drop your dice, and kept going. It was like 10 or 12 people playing. As long as you have different dice colors, any number yep. of people can yeah, play, yeah. which is awesome. I have 12 different colors of chunky clear dice in there that I ordered off Amazon just to get so nice. many different sets. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. So if you've not played Tumbling Dice, as Bob said earlier, it is Tumbling Dice is good. One of the best. I actually won uh so I think that 2018 um Origins, they had new copies of they had just re reran a fleet the dice game and mm -hmm. I was wanting it for Father's Day. And so um they had a copy of Tumbling Dice there and they said, you know, earn your uh oh, yeah, roll percentage discount. off. Yeah, yeah. Roll a discount. I remember and so that. I ended up I ended. Up, I think I got thirty, but whatever the highest one was, I ended up getting it, and I was like, "Yes!" I couldn't <laughs> believe it. I was like, "One time, that's all I had." So that's, uh, <laughs> hey, that's, that counts. Yeah. Um, my second one is Crash Octopus. This is the German version because I couldn't find a version in the U.S. This is such a silly game. You've got. Never this, heard of that. Oh man, it's so good. It's uh, you've got this. Um, this big circle right here, which represents the octopus in the middle of the table. And then it's got tentacles all around here. And you're going to throw the dice. It's actually going to hit the top of the octopus's head and it's going to go somewhere in that ocean piece. And it starts knocking things over. When you're really good at it, you can actually adjust and have the die knock people's ships over. What you're doing is your ship is trying to collect people and treasure and all this stuff it is stupid fun that um, sounds awesome it is really really good and i've so, never heard of that game before yeah, yeah it was on kickstarter yeah, and it's people who did uh uh tokyo highway so oh yeah. okay so i don't i don't think you've talked about that one yeah on the show have you i'm gonna have to uh no. take a look at that take crash look at that. octopus is so good and it is it is one of my favorite dexterity games so I I got the German version because I couldn't find a copy. I missed. Well, it's probably record, language so. independent too, right? So yeah, so I just as long as I have to look, it doesn't really matter. Instructions and stuff, and like the bonus stuff is all in German, so I have to just get a translator app. So Easy it's enough. a really fun game. So yeah, awesome. Uh, my next one up is because we have to have an ob uh, obligatory uh, uh, 20th oh, century no. game. Oh, 25th it. century game. <laughs> is not, not <laughs> now, this this is dexterity not in the way that we talked about it is dice chucking rolling mm -hmm. yeah. but it's like acting out dexterity right and it's, it's speed so and wild. i will say this game like like a lot of games is dependent on the people you're playing with yeah and yes. if people you're playing with are willing to be silly and stupid and fun and loud and goofy and not take this game seriously at all you're gonna have a good time with this so we're not playing with ball <laughs> my favorite <laughs> experience with this game ever, ever, ever was at Gen Con with Derek, AJ, Simon, and watching <laughs> Simon, who is not the guy that usually gets crazy at the table, get crazy at the table. Yeah, it was cool. It was a blast. A hundred percent enjoyed. I forgot cool. about that having Fun. speed. So I I do really like mutton busting. So there you go, Chad. Congratulations. There is a speed dexterity game. There we go. Game. You like yeah. it? Perfect. Stuff. Forgot about that. Number three. Number three, I'm going to go with a game that um, everybody that I know loves, and I believe, uh, Isaac, you love it, 
you love this game so much that you ripped your shirt off in Origins 2023. Oh, my gosh, dude. It's going to be Strike, baby. <laughs> strike, strike, strike. strike. So good. <laughs> I mean, Roman there's not Texas. a lot to say about Strike, but, like, again, it's one of those games that we were able to teach Seb really, really young, and yeah. we've gone through so many copies. I've gifted so many copies, and it's a game yeah. that – I love it. It's it's like yeah. if you're talking about dexterity decathlon, I think strikes got it. Oh yeah, it was in there. We played yeah. a ton of strike. Yeah, um, yeah. and it's great because like it's it's not only like rewarding when you're actually able to like make some really awesome like you know throws, but it's not like really complicated and anybody can play it. Um, so it's just a ton of fun. Yeah, we had strike. it out at Easter. It was just an easy like come yeah. sit yeah. down, grab some dice. Let me show you how to play. Strike is one of the most accessible games out there. We uh, we went to somebody's, uh, it was like a ceremony where somebody was uh, graduating and uh, I brought it with us because I knew it was going to be outside and I knew it was going to be hot. And I was like, I need something fast that people aren't going to get bored with. Yeah. And I think we played Strike for like two and a half hours. That's like awesome. people just play. It's like somebody would jump up, somebody would jump in their seat. And it was yep. always getting played. So yep. I love it um next up let's go with table golf association <laughs> this one right here this is um it really surprised me like uh i like i don't like golf i like disc golf but this game shocked me because the size of these boards are really thick mm -hmm. really fantastic quality and you're this ball bearing um like flicking thing um to get a hole in one or to get in as many as you can um it comes with a score pad and everything it is a really really fun game the setup that my critique of the game is that we did a full review for this game um this game is is a little frustrating because there's not necessarily enough pieces to make a whole bunch of different holes that you can just go to yeah. and i think that's once you finish a hole you kind of have to break it down to salvage those pieces to make another one and if somebody's quick at that the game's phenomenal um if you make the time for it table golf association is really really good and the uh uh it actually there's a there's an expansion that's coming for Table Golf Association that's coming to Kickstarter on the 16th of this month. So. Nice. Yeah, I saw that beach, beach something. When I first saw that yeah. game, it reminded me of, do you guys ever play Mars Open? Oh, I yeah. love Mars Open. <laughs> but like that one is even wilder because you're like flicking like uh, the old footballs that you used to Yeah, play. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, and you're like making some crazy shots. I played that yes. 2018 Tantrum Con. They had a huge Mars Open tournament. Oh really? Um, and I didn't play in the tournament, but I played it because I was on the table yeah. and I'd never played it before. And I was like, oh, this is pretty fun. But you do need yeah. a pretty big area to play, is my only critique. Yeah. Um, Mars Open was the game that my daughter, my youngest, Kendall, she said, Do we have to send this prototype back? I was like, nice. Yes, we do. And so <laughs> um thankfully they sent us a copy after the Kickstarter ended. And uh it is it got a lot of play with the kids were young. I think that's that's the one thing. The setup for that one is very fast, whereas yeah. the setup for Table Golf Association is a little slower and yeah. it chugs a little bit. But the gameplay is fantastic. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Somebody just uh threw a comment in about Div Divinus. Oh, Divinus. 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 Uh, we actually our Thursday group uh two of the guys helped me play test the first two scenarios or you know when we reviewed it mm -hmm. a year year and a half ago it's been a while yeah. so we got it out thursday we played the first three scenarios on it and once we got back into the rhythm of the game it was it's fun if you want an it's app driven fun. adventure and it's competitive which is what yeah. sets it apart from destinies because destinies is all cooperative but it is Divinus, you are at each other's throats in that game really? and it's, okay. uh, yeah it's you're you're kind of pushing and pulling between the two two little g god pantheons and who yeah. you're going to support you know it's uh yeah gibbons hey Justin. Just, yeah yeah yeah, awesome. yeah it's, it's, it's uh fun. it's still in my pile of things i need to play because i did That's enjoy really cool. it's just campaign it, legacy games are hard for us to play yeah it's, yeah, it's a yeah, game, yeah. game really got to commit to it because yeah. i don't want to get halfway through it because like i know i'm i know i like the game because we did the same thing we did the prototype yeah. i don't want to get halfway through it and never finish it yeah, yeah. aj seems so. like yeah, playing his kids yeah hold on to it for years Seb will be right in that yeah i mean he'll be right into it in, in a few years so uh, uh, I 
I'm going to go for my number three. We already talked about it, but uh, I'm going to go Lupin Chewy. Oh, there Lupin it is. <laughs> um, another game that a lot of people for our weekend, for our dexterity decathlon, had never played before. And once this was on the table, it never came off the table. I believe it. People were playing it. People were, hey, is there room for Lupin Chewy? Oh, I just turned it on accidentally. Um, is there room for, for it? Is there room for another? Hey, can I get in? Oh, I'm gonna, cool. I'm turn them that's, how, that's how Hamster Roll has been. Like, hey, I went in on the next one or something. You yeah. know, like when people see it on the table. Yeah, Chewy's over here trying to trying to work. By <laughs> there he goes. Get at it. Chewy. And the difference between Loop and Chewy and Loop and Louie is Loop and Chewy is only three players, right? Uh, Loop and Chewy is only three, also. Yeah. And so Loop and Louie is four. Louis also. Oh, oh, is Louis four? four. Yeah, oh, okay. Loop and Louie is four. Yeah. The new Bluey one is four players as well. Oh, okay. It's uh, yeah, it's I, I don't know if you guys know Bluey, but I mean obviously, oh, yeah. you have of kids, course we know it's, Bluey. It's it's, it's keepy uppy. So you're bouncing a balloon oh, oh. around, which is a really great theme for it. That's oh, snap. Thing. I might need to get that for one of our friend's kids. Yeah. Um, so it's probably going to be our ne- one of our next purchases. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, number, number, four. 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 number four. Number four for me is going to be now. So this, again, like you mentioned, these aren't necessarily like the best dexterity games. We've already talked about, about a bunch. But if you want an experience, you need to play a game called Dungeon Fighter. Oh, Dungeon, Fighter Dungeon Fighter is wild because you have all of these skills and like you basically roll a dice or throw a dice into the middle of a board to try to like defeat enemies and stuff. But there are rules cards that tell you how you have to do it. And there are things like spin around the table three times and throw it behind your back or throw it from underneath an armpit or your leg. And it's just like really silly dexterity. Um it's been a long time since I've played it. Um, I think it was like 2017, uh, maybe 2016, but um, it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. And it was one of those like experience types. Yes, yeah, so you can see it there where you're trying to trying to dice fling dexterity, um, trying to land the dice on certain uh, hits because you know the enemies have like, hit points and stuff. Um, Interesting. Yeah, uh, it's 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 an experience. That's, That's awesome. cool. I, I remember that game coming out, and I remember the board. I never played it myself. Yeah. Um, Drop it. I brought this one out a couple weeks ago. Um, yes. It was uh, January, I think. I said I haven't played Drop it in a while. We played this back to back to back to back. I mean, yeah. it was just like I was like, I forgot how fun Drop it is. You know, <laughs> so Not another one that uh, we introduced uh, family for yeah. our. Retreat, they'd never played it and they loved it. It's uh, fantastic. It's such it, a good game. And the good thing with all those, like when we have other, we had, you know, we had Wormspan, we had some other uh, heavier games going, but that's a game that I can look at and literally anybody who's played it once and yeah. go, can you teach that game? Yeah, I can teach mm-hmm. it. Yeah, it's really simple, right? And then people can get right in and start playing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, a a old WizKids game. That oh, I, I know what this is! Kung Fu, Zoo. Well, Kung Fu Zoo! <laughs> yeah. Kung Fu Zoo. Kung Fu Zoo. I knew that's what you are talking about. <laughs> Kung Fu Zoo is, is so good. And it and it got kind of just, you know, in the waterfall of games that came out of WizKids. It around got this buried, time. right? It got buried. And it's so simple. The board is literally just the box. Ryan, have you played this one? I have not. I didn't uh, even that, is, that is a great This is the, game. the board, and uh, you know it's it just goes right in here. And you're putting the dice on on the edge and you're flicking them at each other's dice, and there's little mm-hmm. holes you're trying to get them into. Or if they land on the wrong side, they're like feet up and they're knocked out. And each uh-huh. die each die looks like an animal, which is awesome. Like it's got you it's know like animal wrestling. Yeah, it is. And it's got like that. That's head really on cool. Side, but the opposite side is the tail, but you don't want to end up all feet up because it's knocked up. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very easy to play and understand. There's variable player powers for the different animals. That's really cool. And, um, yeah, it's it's a great, easy in a box. You know, again, where some of the dexterity games take a lot, this this is easy, quick to set up and play. That's awesome. Well, you yeah. both talked about games i was thinking about talking about like drop it and kung fu mm-hmm. zoo were on the short list <laughs> okay. you guys nailed that but i'll throw in i'll throw into the ring um a game that i think is great for kids and adults is animal upon animal yes um, oh yeah that's a good it's one. it's just a lot of uh, it so it's a so stacking good. game right mm-hmm. so a yeah. lot of the stuff we've been talking about is like flicking or dice rolling but uh this one is a stacking game um and it's a lot of fun um and if you've not had a chance to play that 
then you definitely should. It's from Haba. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's one of those ones where I love dexterity games that can be played with kids, but it's not just for kids. Like adults can have fun with it too. Like we talked about Rhino Hero, yeah. uh, Animal Upon Animal is another one. Yeah. Um, and then another game I just thought of that I forgot about that uh, Junk Heart. Junk Heart. Like, Junk Heart so feels like modern day Bandu, I think. Right yeah. in a way, is it similar? Similar vibes? I haven't played Bandu. Uh, um, Jumper is them. very similar to Bandu. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's another one. So. Um. So let's see. I don't know that one. Cody I've said, "Hey guys, joined in Dukes Castle Dukes, a Euro for a VP where you are building a 3D castle, a tower, trying to put meeples inside without Chinga cell knocking it over. Interesting." interesting that sounds fun oh aj dungeon drop and yeah. uh drop is fun. it drop drive or the new space one they have is also really hmm. good. okay yeah oh um, my gosh look at this game this is crazy looking share it uh this is uh, uh this ca Dukes. castle Dukes. hold on hold on i have I never... like four new dexterity games i have to buy uh, now. this one sure i want to have like just a dexterity shelf or something. oh wow. what in the world oh it's got little like flag towers. It looks like at huh. the top. Huh. Look at look at that one. Yeah, uh, that looks like an uh, yeah, like a legit board game with dexterity. Interesting. That's interesting. Okay, huh. Castle Dukes. Have never heard of that. All right. Build your own castle. Yeah. yeah, Cody. Thanks for sharing that one with us. Okay, that's cool. Uh, my last one on this list is Meeple Circus. Talking about stacking things. Yeah. This one, players are working to make the greatest circus and attract all of the applause. Um, there's a there's an app that all it is is a timer and circus music, um, <laughs> and so that's all it does: timer and circus music. And uh, you basically recruit, depending on how well you do, you recruit new performers and add them to your circus act. You go do it in three rounds, I believe. This game is stupidly fun. Um, it's it's I played it. I think at Tantrum Con. Yeah, I think I played it last at Tantrum Con this past year. No, no, at um, uh, Dyson Diversions in Atlanta. So it is such a fun game. That one's and been I, on my list to try because I've I've never played it before. It, but. So I could I had a hard time finding it, and somebody sold it to me at uh, they sold it to me for like ten bucks. Is that Matigo? Uh, is that right? Yeah, Matigo. Yeah. Um, uh, sold it to me for like ten bucks at Southern Fried like three years ago. So nice, nice. not too shabby. Um, I, this is five. Um, yep, five. And I got a couple sitting around me, but I'm going to go with a uh, classic we drug out recently for a Thursday night. Had 10 people at the table playing it, and that's Flick 'em Up. Flick em up. The OG yep. Flick 'em Up hard solid box classic. version. We played it out. They had never, because we're on this dexterity kick right on our Thursday nights and had a big group. And I'm like, I got a 5v5. They're like, what? And everybody yeah. was chairs away. We played it on a high table, which yeah. is actually really that's nice. so good. And I forgot how much I thoroughly enjoy that game and how difficult it is for new players to really. I have a plastic copy. Game. I have a plastic copy that I have never gotten rid of. And so I. So. I, yeah, I love this. Flick them up is one game that I regret getting rid of. Um, really? Yeah, because like now, like I didn't have kids when I had yeah, it. Yeah. We were yeah. playing it. So I have the copy that I, I had the copy that I think and I regret. Hey, hey. Hey, what well, up, Elena? So, I, I don't know if you guys have ever thought of this, but, like, another uh, cool uh, chat could be about, like, games you regret getting rid of or, like, games mm, you regret getting rid of. That would be good because like, there I are, can count, yeah. like, on my hand, I can count for at least five games that I regret and yeah. have actually repurchased. <laughs> because I was like, man, why yeah. did I ever get rid of that? Yeah, um, yeah, no doubt. So, what the heck is this game Chad's talking about? I've never heard of this one either. So Chad yeah. is... Oh, this is looks Villa? amazing. Is that how you say your last name? Villa? Via? Via? Get, a, get, out, of get out of here. Villa? Get out of um, here. Really Riff good. Raff. Have you seen this the before? Wobbly Ship. No. Look at this thing. That's crazy. Oh, I'm, thanks, I'm, Elena. This is high on my list. I'm going to go try and find it. Oh, what? my gosh. Oh, What's so this wobbly reminds ship? me. Okay, hold on a second. One. I have to find this game real quick because while we were at, so you've been to Gamers Ranch, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, so David R Rehagen, the guy that owns the place, he always comes up every week. Well, every weekend he can. Oh, yeah. There. He's hanging out. Um, yeah. Oh, I have to remember how to spell this name. This is a game that I had no idea um, existed. Um, oh, oh, my gosh. I don't know. Here it is. Here it is. I found it. 
oh my gosh, it's German only. In this yeah. game, He's I am. Through. This is the game I'm going yeah. to buy. It's going to be. Nice, um, yeah. No, it's not. Just wait for this. I'm buying this game first because of the name. This game is called Capitan Wackle Pudding. <laughs> Oh, yeah. the word <laughs> you just said this? made sense. No, I've never heard of, heard of that. No. It's all German only for 1994. You're removing a ship stacked what? with blocks, and you can't let them fall over. And, like, they didn't have this at Gamers Ranch, but we were talking about, like, yeah. old dexterity games. Because this came, actually, when we were talking about Hamster. Interesting. This is an older game that got reprinted. I am obsessed with, look at that ship! That's and you're, you have to move it from region to region in pieces that fall oh. off and gain them. Oh, like, that's dude, I want to play this so uh, Chad, badly. You, Chad, you guys. still here? If Chad is watching this, <laughs> Chad, find Chad. Captain Walk Wackle Pudding. That weird name. That is so <laughs> weird. Ridiculous. So what? put that on your list for dexterity games. Okay. Well, we got some new games to purchase now. So um, speaking this of new sh- things. I wish we made more money play? on this show because this show has been <laughs> Hey, I just got the notification. <laughs> you guys got 100 comments for tonight. Boom, boom. boom. Did we? Oh, yeah, nice. that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, what are you playing, Derek? What's yeah. uh, obviously you played a lot of stuff you mentioned, yeah, uh, some of the things, but what's uh, what what do you what uh, what are you playing with sub? What's what am about? I playing with sub? So, you yeah. know, Clask, um, Lorcana. Oh, um, yeah. I'm actually going next Sunday to teach uh, my local game store, Star, Star Wars Unlimited, nice, um, mm-hmm. because they are interested and they might try to start something up. I'm not sure, but I got sucked in, okay, <laughs> Thanks, Bob. and Thanks, AJ. Bob. you both are terrible friends, always, yes. Bob. Um, and yeah, so get out of here, AJ. Uh, so that's what I've been playing a lot of. <laughs> that's I'm cool. Grabbing, I'm grabbing mine going. On. <laughs> um, so I started playing uh, Betrayal, Deck of Lost Souls. So I'm a big horror game fan. Uh, Betrayal, Deck of Lost Souls, and is a new one from Avalon uh, Hill and uh, really Hasbro. Um, it's really pretty. If you like gold foil, everything, this game is it. Gold foil, everything. Um, it is that's wild. It is very good. There's a question mark at the end of that. Um, we're going to be reviewing that this month. Um, I like it. Um, there's some there's some design choices that are not great. Interesting. But if you just want a great game, Cafe oh, Barras. Coffee Barras. Yes. So I introduced my wife Freaking to this love one. Love that name. Yeah. It is so. So I introduced my wife to this when we had the little two-player little packet that Helena was uh, mm-hmm. was giving out at PAX Unplugged. Uh, yep. uh, Bob brought it back. Cafe Barra's, the full version, is so good. I'm like, obsessed with that game. We've the way played it, it three times. Every time we play it, Aaron's like, this is so good. It's <laughs> so good. And I'm like, yeah, it is. You can When you're done with that, just send it our way. Just send it your yeah, way. Just send it yeah, yeah. Plain and then, said it was okay. Uh, just yeah, and then he'll send it over to me, and then we'll yeah. ship it up yeah, to Canada. It's all good. I'm super it's close. All good. Yep. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'm not allowed to ship anything outside of uh, the United States. Helena remembers. I accidentally mm. messed that one up one time about four years ago. So. Oh no. Ew. So. Well, I'm in the U.S. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah you're on in that the US, Lurkana I thing, though, I know Fletch is here. Uh, I got signed up for the regional tournament for the Stitch promo, so I'm excited. Nice. Gonna nice. go play in a big tournament, try to win that uh Stitch Rockstar that everybody's after right now. Oh yeah. Yeah, there you so. go. Yeah, just send it to me, Helena, and I'll make sure he gets it. <laughs> yeah. I'll I say, it. We keep talking about I'll this. Like, I'm serious it. though, like we just need to get together and hang out again. Like you're only five hours away. Like Yeah, I know. We, we need, need to we make it happen. We'll, we'll find go ways. like halfway between somewhere. Look at now AJ's trying to snipe it. <laughs> AJ's like, I want it. AJ can just <laughs> drive to my house. He's an hour away. <laughs> Um, two two games I've been playing uh, a little bit recently. Uh, they'll be coming up with some review stuff. First off is Digsaw Roll Cut Collect okay. New Stronghold game. If you ever played Clip Cut Parks, this is a game that comes with safety scissors, just like I Clip was Cut from Parks. Renegade Clip Cut, uh, Clip cut yeah. Parks was Renegade. Um, yeah. I like this a lot more. It's fun. It's okay. got a scissor dexterity thing to it, uh, <laughs> but it's you're rolling dice and you're cutting. And there's this point where you're like, oh shoot. I've made too many cuts and this is going bad. It's fun. It takes a lot of planning. That looks cute. And this is one that I think I saw at Tantrum Con. I wish we would have got it out and played it because I think I like it. I think I like it a little more than Couture. And that's Big Top. I this haven't played it. So stupid good. Is it it's good? a blind. Really? It's a blind. Because I have Big Top too. It's bidding. 
Yeah, bl- it's blind. But, but it's blind money. It's 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 real time bidding, but it's blind money. The way you bid really? is so fun and unique in that you're paying a bidding amount to finish your cards. And if your cards aren't finished, you can't score them. But if you bid too much, you might not have the money. It's great. I okay. have played this so is much. It sounds like they took some QE vibes. Uh, a little bit. You know what? You know what's big QE in this is some of the cards have stars on them. If you don't have at least one completed card with a star you score zero points oh. and so when we when i taught this to a group the one guy by far had more points than the rest of us but i'm like where's your star yeah. he's like i couldn't finish the one card i'm like then you get zero and you lose that was in the same so. kickstarter as couture i believe or it no, was yeah. colin i don't it know was, this i got Chomp. the Chomp. Oh, Chomp. Yep. okay so i got that, that, that plus the yeah. bits you know how they do the upgrade yep. Yep. and it's three to four yeah. players so again you it means i'm gonna play it twos but i right. played it three i played it four it is awesome if you like a nice. bidding game this is a super solid bidding game that's so awesome I'm to get my copy out yeah really all right enjoyed it well this has been a long episode about dexterity games thank you and so feet. much derek and feet uh derek if you want more context <laughs> oh, go to the earlier part of the episode where we talked about feet feet for four minutes <laughs> disgusting i'm gonna edit that part out um oh, derek where can people find you uh, you can find me at uh, Wise Wizard Games. Um, you can find me at conventions on Facebook at BG Spotlight. Uh, find me at my name. Give me a follow. Posting a lot of different things, talking about games we love, uh, talking about the people we love, all that stuff. So, um, and I sometimes talk about Isaac, but sometimes hey, because you love win. Isaac, just a little, just a little, just a smidge. just a little. So uh, you can find us at One Board Family all over the place: Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, X, all the places. Go to OneBoardFamily.com to see our written copies, copy of reviews, uh, which will be coming up with Betrayal Deck of the Lost Souls, and you'll see content uh, closer to the release of Cafe Barras. Um, so two great games and if you want to know more about like uh drop it and table golf association we've did, done full reviews for both of these and lots so perfect yeah we're over at uh game sidekicks on all the socials over at our website gaming with sidekicks.com where we just had a review of i'm the boss drop last week okay. along with a review of the new nerdy pup uh kickstarter super squad high uh that uh buddy randy over on the team uh just finished writing up so lots Very of fun cool. stuff find us on all the socials especially over at tiktok this is live streaming yeah. at tiktok we actually had like another hundred people on tiktok nice. watching oh, are you live streaming TikTok TikTok? people yeah, yeah. No, oh, 100, 131 views uh while i meant to on, ask so. you about that i think you can go live from like the website app and not have to use your phone have you been doing that no i'm actually using the tiktok creator studio the live studio and That's it's just cool. picking up this screen that we see and porting it right on with sound. Nice. So, no, very cool. Yeah, works well. You all have a great night. Helena, have a great night. Thank you, um, Helena. Oh, yeah. And uh, don't forget Thank you. about our Love y'all. One Board Family Pinterest page with soup and do- oil, doily needs. Doily. I was like, you misspelled oily. <laughs> Did so. you start a uh, Pinterest board? No. no. Oh, okay. So, Fair enough. Anyway. Thank Bob you. probably did. All right, everybody. Bob did. All right, see you guys. Bye. Bye. Good night.